All right, so I have taken out all my locks and as you can see, my hair looks super dry and brittle and just not looking like it's healthy self. So this video is going to be basically how I restore my hair after protective styling. Um, Cause like when your hair is in a protective style, it doesn't get the nutrients and the washing and the products that it needs to be maintained. So once you do take out your protective style, you do need to take those extra steps to make sure your hair bounces right back. Um, yeah. So what I'll be using is Talia Wahid's Repair and Restore Hair Strengthening Treatment Mask. And it has shea butter, honey, and banana. So it has strand repair, restores hair elasticity, regulates regulates hair's ideal porosity for moisture retention, leaves hair soft and manageable. So I've used this mask before and I really, really like it. So I'm definitely going to use it again. My hair needs all the TLC it can get. You know how you just like miss your curls after you protective style for so long? So right now I'm just ready to hop in the shower, um, put this mask in. I am actually gonna leave it in overnight because I just want a really good deep condition. And I'll leave this mask in as long as possible so it can um, you know, work its magic. So I am going to sleep with it in and then rinse out the next day. And before I apply my mask, of course I have to shampoo my hair. So I'm gonna be using Africa's Best Coconut Cream Sulfate Free Moisturizing Shampoo. And this has a really, really good scent. Um, it doesn't strip your hair of its natural oils. And it's just a really light, um, gentle shampoo that I personally really like. So these are the products that I'll be using for this video. So before I shampoo, I'm going to loosely part my hair into four sections and then I'll shampoo each section individually. So this will just help me avoid um, tangling, knotting, I'll be able to get a really good clean of each section and then I'll be able to rinse it out well and then follow the same steps for my mask as well. So just a loose part, you can use a comb if you'd like, but you don't have to. So I have finished shampooing my hair. It's still in its four sections. So what I'm gonna do now is apply my Repair and Restore mask and I'm going to retwist it into these same sections and then I'm going to sleep just like this and rinse it out tomorrow. So I'm gonna be using my Tangle Teaser to detangle my hair. This will help with shedding, it'll get rid of the dead strands, and also help detangle my curls.
so my hair is deep conditioned it's detangled I've done all the steps so now all I have to do is rinse my hair and style it Right, so my hair is completely finished washing after my protective style, having my, protect, having my protective style for so long. And right now it just feels really hydrated. It feels fluffy and bouncy and it just feels like what I'm used to. Whereas before it was super dry and brittle and it just looked horrible. Um, I shed a lot of hair, like I shed a lot, like an alarming amount of hair. But I, I did have the protective style in for a month, so it kind of makes sense. Um, and my hair was like really, really knotted together, so I definitely had some hair loss. Um, but you know, hair grows, it grows back. But um, yeah, my hair feels super fluffy and bouncy and lightweight. So what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to actually do a wash and go. Um, I haven't done a wash and go since like, I wanna say February and now it's August. And the reason I haven't done a wash and go is just because I haven't really been liking the way my hair reacts to wash and goes now because my hair, it constantly changes. Like your hair doesn't stay the same. Forever, it constantly changes and it adjusts to different products and it kind of just sometimes it just wants to do its own thing and sometimes at some stages in your natural hair journey wash and goes will work and at some stages it won't work or some stages you'll like twist outs and some stages you'll absolutely hate twist outs so I am gonna attempt a wash and go for this video I'm hoping it comes out okay I'm kind of nervous just because I really have hated my wash and goes but I'm gonna suck it up and do it and see if maybe I can get something to work for me or, or whatnot. So what I'll be using is, um, I'm gonna be using gel. So I'll be using Wet Line Extreme. And then I'll also be using Alakay Naturals Knots Be Gone Detangler. So I'll be using these together. And then I'm gonna seal everything in with this Flora and Curl African Citrus Super Fruit Hair Oil. So those are the three products. Those are my three styling products. So my hair is completely done. Um, my wash and go is dry and I actually do love the results. Um, I diffused it a little bit just to give me a quicker dry and a little bit extra bounce and I'm super super pleased um, with the way this wet line extreme dried in my hair. I don't have any flaking. My hair is not crunchy. Um, I paired it with the Knots Be Gone hair detangler and it worked out really really well. So yes i hope that this um moisture and hydration routine works for you guys um because you know post protective style your hair is just so brittle so i really wanted to show you guys like the steps i take to revive my hair and i hope that um you know i kind of help you guys kind of figure out what might work for you as well so thank you guys for watching 
Um, so happy to have my curls back, even though like protective styles are fun because you don't have to really like do your hair. But I miss my curls and I'm so happy that they're looking nice and fresh and bouncy. So with that being said, thanks for watching guys and see you next time.